Ever since the invention of the phonautograph on April 9, 1860, audio recordings have become a major part of our lives, fascinating people through spoken word and music. But not all recordings are for entertainment. Some capture the unexpected. The following video showcases the strangest audio recordings ever captured, the origins of which have never been fully explained. Due to the nature of these recordings, this video is best enjoyed with headphones and will feature no jump scares. So feel free to turn up the volume and get ready, because here are 10 unexplained audio recordings. Number one is the wow signal. On August 15, 1977, Dr. Jerry R. Amen detected a radio signal from deep space during a search for extraterrestrial intelligence project while at Ohio State University. This signal, dubbed the WOW signal, lasted for only 72 seconds and was only ever detected once, despite several subsequent attempts by Eamon and his team to find it again. Its source remains a mystery to this day and is widely considered to be the best alien radio transmission ever received. <laughs> Number two is the slowdown. Recorded by the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration in 1997 in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, the slowdown is an unexplained sound that descends slowly across a full seven minutes. Oddly, although the sound has been heard numerous times since the first recording, its origin has never been fully explained. Some suggest that the sound comes from moving ice in Antarctica. However, many have debunked this explanation due to the location of the recording. The following is the original and clearest recording to date, and because of its length, has been sped up to 16 times so that you can fully hear it. Number three is the Yellowstone Whispers. The Yellowstone Whispers were recorded in 1872 when Wyoming's Yellowstone Park first opened. This eerie sound is described as a mix of a whistle and a horse whine and began in the north and swept over the area towards the south, growing louder but becoming softer the further away it went. Only theories exist at this time as to what the original sound was. Some believe it to be seismic activity, while others believe it to be erupting volcanic gases. However, there are others that believe it to be more. There are ghost stories that exist that are connected to victims who have drowned in the area, along with spirits of Native Americans that called those lands their home. Natural or supernatural, you decide. Number four are sounds from Saturn. All planets are known to emit radio waves, but the following recorded from the planet Saturn are creepier than most. In 2002, the Cassini spacecraft recorded unnerving sounds radiating from the planet Saturn. Some scientists believe that the sounds may have come from the auras found near the poles of the planet that are similar to those audio waves that come from Earth's own auras. However, that explanation does not account for the rising and falling of audio waves waves heard here. Number five is the Singing Comet. Rosetta was a space probe built by the European Space Agency that launched on the 2nd of March in 2004. Over the next 10 years, it traveled 6.4 billion kilometers until it finally reached its destination, touching down on the comet 67P. This marked the very first time that a probe landed on a comet. However, almost immediately, the probe began recording a strange song coming from the comet's surface. Described as a drilling or clicking noise, it confused experts who to this day still do not have an explanation for it. Some scientists believe that the magnetic fields surrounding the comet caused the sounds, but others believe it to be more.
Number six is the desperate plea from outer space. In May of 1961, two former amateur radio operators, Achille and Gian Judicia Cordelia, received a recording from what they believed to be a phantom female cosmonaut calling out for help. The recording appears to be a cry for help of some kind from deep space. The words, I am hot, I am hot, yes, yes, breathing oxygen, are believed to be some of the dialogue spoken, but the entire message, or its meaning, have never been understood. Despite many attempts from experts, no one has ever been able to determine the source of the following audio. Number seven is electronic voice phenomenon. Unlike the rest of these recordings, EVP is not a single event, but instead a phenomenon that is ongoing with highly contentious and debated results. Electronic voice phenomena are sounds found on electronic recordings that are interpreted as spirit voices, usually unintentionally recorded. The noises sound similar to speech and are often regarded by those who believe as voices belonging to spirits in the area. Several examples Examples exist online of EVP that you can look up, including the following recording, which is one of the earliest examples taken in 1958. <laughs> Number eight is the old tape. Around 2013, an anonymous 4chan user uploaded audio that he claimed he recorded in 1995 while listening to a radio station called WKCR 89.9 in New York City. The recording begins with music, but is abruptly interrupted with a high-pitched noise, almost like a shrieking followed by heavy breathing. Shortly after, a distorted female voice speaks, repeating what sounds like names and dates, almost in a chant. An explanation for the following mysterious signal hijacking was never explained by the radio station. Number 9 are sky trumpets. First recorded in Texas in late 2010, this mysterious sound was heard in quite a few places around the globe and on several different occasions. Sometimes described as a loud hum, it's often most closely described as a trumpeting sound coming from the sky. There are a number of theories as to what this could be, some scientific, some religious, others paranormal. Either way, the sound is unnerving and to this day has left many people confused and a little frightened. The following is one such recording from British Columbia, Canada, taken on amateur video on August 29th, 2013. And number 10 is the bloop. Recorded in 1997 off the South American coast, the bloop is considered by many to be the most mysterious audio to ever have come from the deep ocean. The eerie low frequency sound was picked up by hydrophones and sounded similar to an oxygen bubble rising up from the water towards the surface. What's most disturbing about this sound is that submarines, volcanoes, and earthquakes have all been ruled out. Many researchers continue to this day to look into the cause of the sound as it alarms many of them as the sound resembles that of one of a marine mammal would have made, though this was much louder of a sound than any known creature could possibly make. Some people believe it to be an undiscovered sea monster. To this day, there is still no definitive source for the explanation of the bloop. So, 
Those were 10 unexplained audio recordings, but I want to know from you in the comments. What do you make of each of these recordings? Do they have a normal explanation, or are they in fact something that we simply do not understand yet? And as always, if you are subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the little notification bell beside the subscribe button to enable notifications so that you can be alerted when I upload my next video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on Saturday.